Hey everyone, welcome to another match of Team Rehooting Delver. Today we are playing Eurosa. So, opening hand is uh, okay. There, there are no threats, which is usually um, a dangerous hand to keep, but we have two Serum Visions, Opt, uh, we have Permission, we have Traverse, so we have enough to um, at least dig for threats. Um, again, it's a risky hand to keep, but I've, I've played enough to know that when you have enough cards to, to dig through your deck, you're eventually going to find um, a threat. Uh, just like that one. So we naturally drew into a Tarmogoyf. 3-4 uh, Tarmogoyf is good to um, resolve immediately. Um, our opponent doesn't have much threat on us with right now they're playing blue so uh or at least as far as we know they're currently playing blue and nothing else so um you know i'm not really worried about a path to exile or a fatal push or or something of that nature gilded goose comes down another mistress bobble that's okay that definitely helped our tarmogoyf grow relatively quickly We draw a Stubborn Denial, which is beautiful. And we're going to do nothing after this attack. Um, no need for Serum Visions at the moment. Mana Leak is kind of a, important right now. Um, Arkham's Astro Blade, Astro Blade, um, Astrolabe, I should say. I keep saying Astro Blade for some reason. Um, Arkham's Astrolabe is okay to resolve. Uh, we don't want to waste... Um, permission for that. Let's see what else is coming down. Nothing, it seems. Okay. End of turn, we're going to use Opt, grow our Tarmogoyf to a 4-5. And so we see Mana Leak. Um, you know, it's not a bad card to have. Um, more permission right now. There's no threats, so... Uh, that we have to deal with. I'd much rather have um, an extra mana leak. I'm also figuring out that we're probably playing Eurosa at this point, uh, which means that we're not too worried about big creatures we need to get past. So, um, casting Avon or cycling Avon right now is uh, a better call. Uh, we draw Delver, which is awesome. We got an island. We can play Serum Visions uh, to dig further. We don't need any of those cards. Uh, don't need another Traverse. Don't need more land. Uh, we just need more Gaz. So we're going to come in with a 5-6 Tarmogoyf, which is awesome. Um, I would expect our, our, our opponent to chump, but they kind of need the Gilded Goose right now. So it is what it is. So Yurza is coming down. We're going to mana leak that. Um, this would definitely be a mana leak target. We don't want to see. And our opponent uh, gives up. I, I think that was probably the right call. Um, we kind of had our opponent in a lock. He wasn't going to. He wasn't going to resolve anything important for at least uh, a few turns. So what do we bring in here? Blood Moon definitely useless. I usually bring in Huntmaster in these type of decks um, because, it, the, the, you know, game two and three tend to grind out a lot more. Um, Thought Scour is another target because um, we're, we're going to have quite a bit of interaction with our opponents, so our graveyard's going to be getting filled up relatively quickly anyway. I think that was enough. I mean, there's not much else we need to bring in. Um, I don't expect too much counter magic from our opponents, so Veil of Summer isn't necessary. I also don't expect too much removal, and I definitely don't expect any black removal from our opponent, so. Gilded Goose, turn one. Um, now, you know, we could slam Delver, or we can play Seal of Fire and kill off the Gilded Goose. I think that's usually 
um, the correct line of play. It's kind of like uh, killing a turn one Noble Hierarch or killing a, killing a turn one Arbor Elf or whatever. So our opponent had a second Gilded Goose and only one mana. So that says a lot. That means they kept a greedy hand and they were relying on their Gilded Goose to accelerate them. So we'll play our Delver, first things first. And we will be relentless in removing those gooses, those geese. And uh, let's see where our opponent draws. Oh, second land. That's a, okay, a third Gilded Goose. Fine. It is what it is. Our opponent can gain some life if necessary. Let's see. They're going to go for an island and play Emery. All right. Well, couldn't do much there. Mana Leak gets revealed, our Delver flips, and we go in. Excellent. Opponent can't do anything. We can definitely play Serum Visions on our second main phase. And still have Mana Leak mana up. So let's see what we see. Okay, we don't need that. And I'm pretty confident that um, Stubborn Denial is a card I want to draw. Um, although, you know, in, retros in retrospect, I might have wanted another threat as quickly as possible. R right now, I think we're fine. With permission, we can stop anything that our opponent's going to bring down. They're behind on mana. Uh, we've killed off two of their Gilded Goose um, creatures, so I think for the time being, another Stubborn now, another form of permission is, is, is just fine. So we draw Tarfire, uh, we'll kill off that other Gilded Goose. And I believe I actually uh, put Stumber Denial uh, at the bottom of my library. I didn't realize that. Oh no, I drew it. I'm just paying attention to my board, my opponent's side of the board. So. Our opponent's uh, enjoying their infinite mistress baubles. Uh, I mean, sure, it doesn't look like they're drawing any lands or anything relevant here. And we're just beating down a Delver, which is amazing. Um, it really is amazing. I think at this point it's smart to cycle Aven. I think that was the right call. We're not we're not going to be fighting anything on the on the battlefield that we're really concerned about. And, uh, you know, we wanna, just want to get our card draw. And look at that, Tarmogoyf. Um, and Huntmaster, but I think this game is well over. Um, we'll go and we'll attack in. At this point, there's no reason to overcommit. There's no reason to rush. Um, we can play Serum Visions and see what's up next. Okay, so they're going to counter our Serum Visions, and I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, we're not going to pay it. It's okay. At least I got one counter in. I didn't want our opponent to uh, rage quit uh, just yet, just yet. Okay, so they're getting their lands now, but again, what are they actually drawing to start putting pressure on us? I don't see much yet. Okay, we're gonna go for Mistress Bobble again. I'm assuming. We'd have an 8-9 Tarmogoyf, if you haven't noticed. That's a that's a pretty big Tarmogoyf. All card types are in, our, are in the graveyards right now. Uh, sadly, I don't think we're going to need Tarmogoyf right now. Um, I was actually contemplating countering uh, Arkham's Astrolabe here, but no, it's not worth it. It really isn't. Uh, let them get all their card draw. Uh, they're not casting anything important this game if I have anything to say about it another hunt master um, again I mean I would love to play hunt master this game but really not necessary I wouldn't have the land for it anyway um, so at this point uh, Tarmogoyf makes sense 
Uh, we have Stubborn Denial. Ferocious is more than active. Uh, which means anything non-creature we can counter. Um, Tormod's Crypt. Yeah. We'll let that go. We'll let that go. I mean, in theory, we don't need it. He can only target one graveyard. So our Tormod's still 5-6. And... Euro comes in. Okay. So this is unfortunate, uh, because now we can't counter it. But... I still don't see how our opponent can get out of this. I mean, we're definitely not going to let it uh, resolve uh, next term if, if, if and when our opponent decides to escape it. So I'm not too concerned about that. They bought themselves potentially a turn. Got Traverse. They're going to have to chump here. Unblocked. I think they just gave up. I think they realized that uh, it's game over. Yeah. So, that was an interesting game. Um, our opponent didn't really get to do much. Um, we had answers for everything. Uh, their game two was kind of a slow roll. I think they kept the greedy hand because they saw three Gilded Goose in their opening hand with one land and they figured You know things would accelerate relatively quickly uh, It just didn't happen because we had answers for their two uh, the first two Gilded Goose um, And we just got we got way ahead on tempo and we managed to uh, Take them out uh, <laughs> Delver did a lot of work there um, put on the pressure Tarmogoyf um, kind of, you know, finished off the game uh, more quickly. Um, you know, they were they managed to uh, they managed to cast Euro uh, and resolve it, which is okay. Um, you know, if we didn't uh, cast Tarmogoyf the turn before, we would have had mana leak, mana up. But it, as you can see, it wouldn't have made much of a difference. Uh, they either chump block next turn and they die anyway. Uh, or or you know or they just decide not to block and just end the game because they really had no they had nothing they can do uh, to stop us so that was interesting I mean I, I do find this matchup even I don't think it's an easy matchup but I also don't think it's a hard matchup there's not much in the sideboard that I would bring in against it uh, we did draw two hunt masters uh, one after the one after the other um, but we didn't have the mana to resolve them. But I don't think, again, I, we really didn't need them in that second game. It didn't grind out enough. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty telling considering uh, Delver pulled most of the weight there. So I hope you enjoyed this match. Um, it was really quick. Uh, but, you know, sometimes that's just how, that's just how this deck uh, rolls. And that's why I really enjoy playing it. It's really fun. I hope you give it a shot as well if you haven't already. <laughs> And uh, stay tuned for more. I've got more videos to post. I've got more matches to share. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. Um, please subscribe if you're enjoying my videos so you can get more notifications when I upload more videos. I plan on doing this often. I have deck text that I want to post up as well for the decks that I'm playing. Uh, maybe doing some card spotlights. Uh, so on and so forth. So very modern centric right now. Uh, thanks a lot and stay tuned for more.